What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. I want to talk about this great uh, bit of um, comedy that I got out of Joe Budden trying to seemingly come to the defense of a quote unquote black woman that's not even black in L'Oreal. The same woman who made a fool of herself on the red carpet with Michael B. Jordan when she tried to make it seem like they were cool and they knew each other since they were in school together, you know, even, you know, unbeknownst uh, to her, Michael B. Jordan did remember. He remember, remembered how she treated him right now, instead of her taking that time to be humble and apologize, she thought that she was going to check. She was going to check him, but he ended up checking her and made herself just look like a complete idiot, right? She's at his movie premiere and she thinks that she's the smart one and she's going to tell him, well, I didn't say this when you actually did. You basically agreed with the fact that you thought he was corny. And now y'all wonder why black men have such a hard time accepting not wanting to be a part of the streets. Because when you are a street dude or you're trying to be a rapper, that's the only time women will see you as cool. Not when you're trying to be an actor or non, you know, I would say non street or rap, like whatever they believe is cool, right? Dysfunctional right? Chasing heifers and having children out of wedlock. People now see why black men have such an identity crisis a lot of time. Look at John Morant. John Morant is the perfect example of a man who's trying hard to not be corny, even though he's not. But in his mind, because of the people that he hangs around, he feels like he has to prove something. And I'm glad Michael B. Jordan does not feel like he has to prove anything to any of these people. So Joe Button decided on his radio show that he wanted to uh, go at Michael B. Jordan because he wanted to impress Melissa Ford. Melissa Ford was on the show and he thought he was going to impress her by standing up for black women. Uh, when Joe Budden hardly ever dates a black woman. And, and for people that were saying, well, he does date black women, Jay. Yeah, but he ain't going to date them publicly like he did his Latinas. All right. But we that's a whole nother conversation. I'm not here to talk about who dates who. I'm just pointing out the fact that Joe Budden is no different than most of these panderers on social media who say I love and, and respect black women, but they won't marry one. Joe Budden will never marry a black woman, but he thinks that he's there to defend L'Oreal talking about how Michael B. Jordan uh, disrespected a black woman, even though L'Oreal is not a black woman. That's, that's just how incredibly stupid Joe Budden really is in, in regards to what he had to say in Michael B. Jordan. Just incredibly tone deaf. He got destroyed on social media because of it. This guy is a walking, living, breathing hypocrite, All right? So let's get into this Vibe article. Joe Budden gets dragged after corny Michael B. Jordan rant. Users brought up the retired rapper's history of allegedly mistreating and abusing women. There was a black woman that accused him of inappropriate behavior. That's the irony of this. Joe Budden has absolutely no room to talk about anybody. Michael B. Jordan has been a huge topic of discussion after his red carpet run in with L'Oreal, an old high school classmate who allegedly called him corny when they attended school together. Joe Budden expressed his displeasure with how the Creed actor handled his interaction with the media personality with fans responding by bringing up the retired rapper's history of allegedly mistreating and abusing women. Dog, you doing that to a girl is some corny N word shit. The, uh, the podcast host said, during the Wednesday episode of the Joe Budden podcast, you being Michael B. Jordan to today, allegedly the sexiest man alive, all of these blockbuster movies during your highlight week, you've probably never been more visible than you are this second. And that's what you do to her. Why are you talking to our sisters like that? on the red carpet when you don't talk to white bees like that. First off, L'Oreal is not a sister. Okay, she's not a black woman, Joe Budden. She's like she's like the woman that you like, Joe Budden, with your Latinas. You like your Latina, she's a Latina. I don't think she considers herself a black woman. Okay? But again, he was in the, he was on the show with Melissa Ford. He was trying to impress Melissa Ford. And that's why he said what he said. The guy's a complete clown. Uh, he continued, that was corny of him to speak to that girl like that, Michael B. Jordan. That's why N words call you corny. Hey, Creed, in case you were confused, that corny A shit you did. Why N words think you corny in case you were off a little bit? No, Joe, I think you're off a little bit. 
Uh, I, I think that you're a miserable person who has gone into a bit of irrelevancy. You know, the Joe Budden podcast used to be very relevant until he thought he didn't need Rory and Maul. And when he thought that by getting rid of Rory and Maul, he wouldn't have to pay them anymore. And he wouldn't have to worry about them getting shine, I guess, off of him. But what ended up happening is that there was a, a rabid portion of his fan base that went to Rory and Maul's podcast. Because Joe Budden thinks he's that talented. Joe Budden, you're not that talented. That's why you need two co-hosts. Now it looks like you got, what, four or five co-hosts. You need other people to help you, sir. You're not that talented. You're definitely not as talented as Michael B. Jordan. You need a whole bunch of co-hosts to make up for the fact that you lack in charisma. You may be knowledgeable on hip hop, but in, in being able to be entertaining, you ain't there. You ain't there. So I can see why you're looking at Michael B. Jordan and the visibility that he has. And you say to yourself, you know, I should be that visible. Because, you know, it always comes down to jealousy with these males. These beta males are so jealous of other men who are more successful than them, who get more attention than them, that they will take this route. Okay. Now, you cannot agree with something, but to, to try to disrespect the guy who's more successful at his age than you you were at his age. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure Michael B. Jordan is a little bit younger than Joe Budden. Joe Budden was never a successful rapper. He was a one-hit wonder. Again, that's where the bitterness comes into play because this guy has to cover people who are way more successful than him. Though the 42-year-old may not have thought his heart was in the right place, people were quick to bring up that he isn't the best messenger for this situation joe budden out of all people saying this as well wasn't he just talking crazy about meg the stallion while she was going through her trial one user said didn't he beat a pregnant lady till she miscarried like how many times has he disparaged black women to uplift latinas like get the f out of here a second user also mentioned meg but added in the pump it up rappers back and forth with Vivica A. Fox. This Michael B. Jordan take is rich coming from Joseph. It was the why are you talking to our sisters like that? Isn't he the same N word who was calling Vivica A. Fox all types of old washed up bees and and <laughs> it hoes? Joe Budden is so unserious. A third user brought it closer to home and focused on listening on oh, oh, focused on the silencing the silencing of melissa ford his co-host who is also a black woman that's the thing i didn't know that she was co-hosting the show until i um saw this particular episode and i'm like oh i didn't think i thought she was a, a guest on the show but she's actually a co-host on the show and i told you he needs like five people to be a co-host with him to do a show his co-host was also a black woman. During his rant, Joe Budden commenting emphatically on how black men should treat black women all while repeatedly talking over and ignoring the black woman in the room is kind of tone deafness, uh, kind of the tone deafness that makes it unwatchable for me. As you can see the messages here, I could tell that, you know, it looked like not everybody was on board with what he was saying. It looked like there were people in the room and I got to give it to him. They were giving a more balanced take on it. But Joe Budden didn't want to hear it. He was over talking to everybody. I'm not going to play the clip because I don't want any copyright issues. Uh, but I can link y'all to the article. Maybe y'all have already seen the clip. But again, this is who Joe Budden is. This is a guy who has no charisma. He has to bring people like Melissa Ford and others, Queens Flip. Because he, 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 he can't carry a show by himself. That's why he needs five people to do, help him do it. The internet backlash did not shift Joe Budden's perspective as the former everyday struggle host doubled down on his stance. If any other black multimillionaire embarrassed a woman working on a red carpet because she thought he was corny in seventh grade, y'all would call him a lot more than corny. The former Slaughterhouse member wrote in a now deleted Instagram story shared by the shade room shout out to the shade room for sharing it because he, he deleted it because i guess he looked at it and said well that was stupid anyway uh, also i work for me and i'm not firing myself 
I said what I said, get off my D love management. Well, then you deleted it. So <laughs> maybe you were upset at yourself. <laughs> the entire discourse originated from a red carpet interview during the Thursday, uh, February 23rd screening of Creed 3. Michael B. Jordan was approached by the Morning Hustle host L'Oreal, who attended Chad Science Academy in Newark, New Jersey with him. And I guess she thought that he had fond memories of her. But uh, the Black Panther actor brought up comments from a 2021 episode of the Undressing Room podcast L'Oreal was part of, where he was called a nice corny guy. Uh, while they discussed his relationship with Laurie Harvey at the time, notably L'Oreal did not t make the specific comment, but instead it was Dominique the Diva. And I dealt with Dominique the Diva. I'll link that video in the description box. I talked about her in my initial video that I spoke about uh, him and L'Oreal. She wanted to play bodyguard. You know, Dominique the Diva is not a very attractive woman. For her to be calling anybody corny is, is just, it's just nausea. And these women go out here, get their bodies done. They think they can just say whatever. It's crazy out here. But let me get back to Joe Budden. Joe Budden, you, you are not as smart as you think you are. You are a manipulator. Numerous black women have accused you of, of all types of things. Bro, you are a clown. And you look more and more like a clown with these comments. You want to double down and delete your posts. <laughs> Joe Budden, you're the corny one in this situation, sir. You say you're not firing yourself, but you're posting and deleting messages. Listen, just admit you're getting cooked and it got to you. You thought that that you thought that all these people would side with you. You have a history, Joe Budden. You have a history of not being the best with black women. So why are you going to speak down on Michael? First of all, black women say whatever you want about you know black women mocking him for uh, dating white women. Like you tried, I like you tried to in in your own way, even though you date nothing but Latinas publicly. Uh, but for the most part, there are still a lot of black women who support Michael B. Jordan and are going to defend Michael B. Jordan. I I don't think that you counted on that, Joe. I think they would ride with Michael B. Jordan a lot more than you, Joe Budden. I just think you went out sad in this situation. And yes, I was going to speak about it. So let me stay in the comments, let me know your thoughts, like this video and share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll see y'all next one.